South Africa marked Freedom Day on Saturday, the day on which, 30 years ago, millions of South Africans braved long queues to vote in the first democratic elections, ending decades of white minority rule. The poll was won by the African National Congress, which has been in power ever since. Our shackles had been cast off. The shackles that had tied us down for hundreds of years. The weight of centuries of oppression was no longer holding us down. Even though our backs bore scars of the cruel lashes of those who had whipped and subjected us for more than 300 years, on that day, as a united people, we stood tall as South Africans. The main celebration took place in the administrative capital, Pretoria. Today, 30 years later, we gather as a united people of all races at the same union buildings that once symbolized our pain and our oppression. As we celebrate today, we recall and honor all those who fought for justice, for peace, for freedom in our land. But today there's discontent as South Africans face many challenges including high unemployment and poor service delivery, with the ANC tipped to lose its majority in next month's general elections.